Hello, everyone. <laughs> well, it's lunchtime, and guess what? We're going shopping. And of course, um, shopping is always an interesting thing to do in the hypergrid, right? And I'm sure many of you are experts at shopping. Give me a yes or no if you love shopping in the hypergrid. Touring other grids to go shopping. Hey, Jupiter, good to see you. Everyone can see me, hear me, hopefully. And I know it takes just a moment for you to uh, get that information. What you're seeing on screen, I'll go ahead and give you a little backstory, is during the previous session, I went over to um, Kelso and Dabichi's place, this wonderful place, um, and they have a Christmas market. And, and I thought after the fantastic sessions we've been having, it'd be great to see some of the recent content that people have put up. And I, I think they just decorated for this about a month ago or less. Hey, Webb, good to see you. And by the way, while we are streaming this, we're not necessarily recording it for posterity. So we're being a little more candid. And what I wanted to do, this is something I do for my students. My students don't know how to navigate the hypergrid. Um, they're new to the virtual world. You know, first day, they'd like to put some clothes on and get going. They're not really concerned with mesh. They're concerned with the fact that they don't have a body, right, <laughs> of any type. So, of course, uh, we are thinking about tools to help us find content. And, and I make them all create projects. So they're thinking in terms of set design, similar to what Ada would do, you know, with the media arts repertory theater and all the cool things they did to set the scene for the play or what we just saw in Nara's Nook, the, the, uh, the game development group, setting the scene, understanding the content and having cool things to uh, characterize an experience, right, for class. And I make them do a lot of different experiences and then create their own content. Of course, they need textures and they need ideas. And so uh, here we are. I'm just showing you Event Plaza for a moment. We're not going there. So don't start packing your bags yet, right? But of course, if you were new to the hypergrid, I tend to use OpenSim World or sites like it that give me the hypergrid addresses, right? And I, I use these little cheesy arrows to point out to students what to click, but it doesn't always work out. And I'm going to show you an example of that in just a moment. So um, I grabbed the hypergrid address there and I put it in the world map. You know, I, I just um, type M or the world map. Let me see if it is M here. Nope, that's because I'm using it for something else. Control M, there we go. If you're on a Windows system, it's Control M. If you're on a Mac, it might be Command M, right? <laughs> and of course, uh, you're putting in that address, you can click it and copy it, you can click the HG button. And you know what I do? I set up an account and I, I click liked to all my favorite regions. But when I'm grooming a set for a, a presentation or for another audience for students, I might have a few adult sites or some other things in there that I don't want to share with my students, right? Even though the content might not be adult there, the school might get testy, okay? We'll just say that. And so I have to uh, reduce my number of likes just for, for characterizing the subset, just so you know. So let's take a look at what that uh, would look like. Well, first, uh, <laughs> here's the site we're going to go to first. And uh, I'll go ahead and talk about that for just a moment, and then I'll, I'll share with you uh, another tip. You'll notice I wrote some text at the top of this page. That's because when I try to use the HG link that's in there, the capital letters for Noval did not work for me. It said region not found. And of course, um, the faint hearted would stop there, wouldn't they? But I'm not faint hearted. I don't know about you, but if I can't immediately go to a region, I don't think of that as an obstacle. <laughs> I then start looking for, okay, is it a syntax error? Is it um, something else? Or am I using a viewer that requires a prefix, the HTTP colon slash slash in the front or something else? 
So in this case, I click the HG button and it brought it up and it had different syntax. You'll notice at the top, it had a space noval. It had the uh, slash mark, right? So the link looked a little different. And of course it put in the HTTP colon slash slash. So please realize there's always more than one way to get to your location. You could also go to just the base grid, right? Stopping with the port number 8052, wait there and then go visit your region, Noval, okay? So the uh, three different ways to, to approach this, this region. And of course, you're gonna land in a snowball in the snow globe when we arrive. And you see that green tree inside of it? It looks like a flat cardboard sign. You're gonna click it and that takes you outside the, no, the snow globe. And there will be like a little ski jump. And when you click it, it um, the tree gives you a folder um, with ski ski poles and and skis, and you put them put them on. Then you click the um, the ski jump. It's it's kind of like a box with a taper, right? And what that'll do is it sends you skiing through the property, and it's going to take you to two destinations. So you'll click it twice, and then you'll wind up in the market ready to shop. Okay, so that's our instructions. We're not leaving yet. But that just gives you the uh, yeah the heads up. Thanks, Marcus. Um, and I know you're all pros at shopping, but you know sometimes we always blame the hypergrid. We say, oh, it's just not working. You know, sometimes it's the internet that just needs a little more love and care. Is how I view it. I don't view it as this technology. I really think about it as the diversity we're always talking about all the different ways we support navigation and getting to your content. Now, earlier today, Kay McLennan, right, gave a talk on her Educators Emporium, and it's located at Wright Plaza. So I thought that would be cool for us to look at too, because these were some of our speakers. Jupiter, I did include some of the links you gave me, but not all of them yet, because I typed this up the hour before this session. <laughs> But I did go visit some of them and I had a great time and I included a few photos in the full guide. Okay, um, so uh, you'll notice this hypergrid link down here for Wright Plaza works, but if it didn't, then I would go to LBSA as a default ending with port 80 and then hop over to Wright Plaza. Okay, so what are we featuring on our tour today? Now we only have 40 minutes, right? And I've already talked through a few of them. So <laughs> over on the left, I did think it would be cool to go visit Kelso and Debichi. And I did go over and warn her, but it may not have been clear. So please realize um, if it gets busy there, just move on to the next site, okay? You don't have to wait for me. This is not a guided tour in the sense of we must all shop together. No. <laughs> Shopping is one of these cool browsing activities where you have this discovery, right? So if you haven't been there, it looks amazing. And I did take two thirds of the ski tour and wind up at the Christmas village before I left. It did not take long. It was like five minutes. And then for new residents and students, if you were giving tips for your friends, your students, if you're a teacher or fellow researchers, if you're a researcher, whatever, um, here are a few sites, and yes, I tried to pick sites where I felt confident about the content. This is not a criticism for any other region, grid, or mall, or whatever anyone's wearing or anything else. But for my students, I try to give them access to content that doesn't get them into trouble. Let's put it that way, okay? And of course, I teach ethics, right? And you notice how I'm dressed. I, I tend to not be a mesh avatar only because my decision making is easier. And secondly, my schools do not allow me to ever have body parts showing. <laughs> and that includes arms, by the way. So here we are. So uh, so I'm not a social character. I, I, I've taught 60 classes in virtual worlds and I love it. This is a fantastic place to live, learn, and hold your office hours and do everything. I'm fully integrated. So uh, you'll notice uh, there's traditional sites here like Lanny's Global Mall, which looks like Dune. You've all been there. And in the full version of the guide that I gave out, I gave the link out earlier, but if you're just now joining us, let me put it in the text chat for you. 
Uh, that's just a collection of my PowerPoint slides that I saved as a um, PDF. I have another version with some sites that are a little more controversial. I, I showcased it at the Virtual World MOOC uh, this, uh, this summer, or actually it was in September. And then I did another version for the Nonprofit Commons, which are a, co a collection of nonprofits that have been meeting in virtual worlds for 16 years. Uh, they're social good agencies from around the world. All of us want to look good, feel good, and of course have cool content. Now I have to do a shout out to Franz. I included Encantada Landscaping after I saw his Open Sim Fest uh, beautiful designs, you know, on the Unobtainium region, which reminded me so of the movie Avatar, right? <laughs> and of course, that's the resource they were all fighting for. And uh, I do give a shout out to Jupiter Roland. I do have to give a shout out also to Druskus and to many of you, to Clifford and Cataplexia um, for their alternate metaverse shops. In my full guide, I include a few images from some of those places. I didn't get them all in. And you can take a look at that. I don't have them here because it's time to go shopping. But before we go, this is an example of me liking some of the regions. I like lots of regions. But when I'm gathering a little presentation for students, I will unlike a few temporarily so I can create this easy liked menu, right, where it just shows all the regions that we're talking about for that class or that event or whatever. And then uh, they appear here. And then after I'm done, I get back to them. I bookmark them all too, whenever possible. That way, I don't lose track of my favorites. I don't have to remember everything. And I do like using Open Sim World. I listened earlier, someone had a little criticism of some of these sites. Please realize, the thought here is um, I love this community. And when people talk about regions or post little comments, that's kind of like local color and, and a wonderful perspective on life. I enjoy those, even though I don't have time to have a life, you know. <laughs> I'm teaching 15 classes this term, but um, but I love this community. And so I want to thank you for those comments and for sharing your strengths, all these different perspectives. We love you. Okay. So it's time to go shopping. So let me backtrack for a moment. And if you will notice, we are going to first, and I'm going to paste it into the chat. Now this may not work, right? I'm going to give you the one they gave us. Maybe it'll work for you, right? We're all explorers. So that's the default for Kelso's region with him and his partner. And here's the version that worked for me. I will tell you there. And of course, I have a version of Lear who's trying to head on over there right now. Oh, and I do have it up. The, the version that actually, um, the HTTP version's not working for it. Even though she can see it, she can't seem to get there from here there. So let's see. Oh, now she's going. So here's what worked for her. Okay. That's what worked. No prefix. Okay. Oh, you but you're so much fun. Uh, yep. <laughs> Go risky. Take a, take a, take a ride. And I landed right there by the, um, the Christmas tree. I have a Lear over there right now. So if anyone needs help, let me know. You don't have to go shopping right now. You can go later. But, and Kelso, we want to thank you for your wonderful designs. I put on the skis and went skiing after Da Vici and it was so much fun. And, and I was standing here talking too. So I was on two different accounts, right? <laughs> I was having a blast. Yeah. Oh, well, if there's too many people, um, Oh, I got you for the word Noval. No worries. That's not a criticism of you. What happens is when we put things on an agency or a service like OpenSim World, their fields in their database may also have certain restrictions too, right? And so we, we see these. I always teach my students to be flexible, adaptable, and to persevere. You know, don't give up. You got to be a little more stalwart. And many of them are getting doctoral degrees. so. They're very interested in being successful. <laughs> ah, yeah. 
anyway, that's enough for me. Uh, um, I will help anyone here in the text chat. I'll go ahead and, and say thank you to our stream team for supporting this amazing event and have a great lunch. We'll go shopping. I'm there right now and we're about to go skiing first. Bye bye. Do you see what kind of thing? Um, yeah, no, I was answering in the low.